Hello friends, in this video I will show you how to create a simple GDX game in AIDE which looks like this. So let's start. Here in AIDE, I will just go to this new folder called 00 game and here I will create a new project of type mobile game. Here you will find libgdx java. So I will create a game with name called my game 4 my company 4 and my game 4 so this will be a new game project in aide it contains this file mygdxgame.java now it contains these methods create render dispose resize pause and resume i will just change this and first I will put all my resources in the assets folder. So here I have this image of glass which is a bucket. So this is image of a bucket, then image of raindrop and then I have this drop sound. I will just copy these three. Then I will go to this 00 game, my game 4, GDX game Android and in this I will go to assets folder and paste it here. I will remove this android.jpg from this folder. Okay, now I will just go back to mygdxgame.java. Here I will just remove all this code and paste my own code. Now I will explain my code after pasting it here. But first I will change the orientation of my game to vertical means in portrait mode so for that i will go to android manifest.xml and here in dot main activity after android dot android config changes in next line i will write android colon screen orientation equal to portrait okay that will change the screen orientation to portrait mode now i will go back to my gdx game dot java here i have defined a new texture called drop image then i have defined a new texture called bucket image then i have defined a sound called drop sound all three resources have been put by me put by me in assets folder now this sound is from the gdx library so i will just find it in gdx library here it is com.badlogic.gdx.audio so i will just click here and it will add this in imports next i have added a bitmap font for writing this code then i have write, added a sprite patch this sprite patch is similar to canvas then I have added an orthographic camera called camera after that I have a rectangle called bucket so here I will find the library for this so this rectangle called bucket represents this bucket image then I have a list of rectangles called raindrops so here I will just find this array here it is array java lang reflect java dot sql java dot util and com dot bad logic dot gdx so I will click on this gdx part and this will add this gdx library gdx dot utils next i have defined a number called last drop time after that i have defined an int called score then in create method i have defined what is drop image from the file in assets folder it was drop image.png then i have defined bucket image from the file in assets folder bucket image.png and similarly i have defined drop sound by writing gdx.audio.newsound 
gdx.files.internal drop sound.mp3 from the file in assets folder. Next, I have defined a bitmap font. I have defined the bitmap font as a new bitmap font with color red, color dot red. Then I have defined the orthographic camera camera as a new orthographic camera and I have set its matrices to width 360 and height 640. And then I have defined batch as a new sprite batch. After that I have defined the rectangle which represents the bucket or the glass at the bottom. So I have defined that as a new rectangle with width 32 and height 32 and its x coordinate x coordinate of bottom left corner as 360 minus 32 by 2 which will place it horizontally in center of the screen and bucket dot y I have defined y coordinate of its left bottom corner as 20 means it will be just 20 above the bottom of the screen. Next is raindrops, I have defined raindrops as a new list of rectangles and then I have used the method spawn raindrop. Then here the create method is closed and here I have defined spawn raindrop. Spawn, in spawn raindrop I have defined a new rectangle called raindrop and I have set its x coordinate as a random number between 0 to 360 minus 32 means anywhere in the width of the screen. Then I have defined his y coordinate as 640 means at top of the screen. I have defined its width as 32 and height as 32. So this will be a new raindrop and I have added it to the list of raindrops which as I have defined here. So after defining the list of raindrops I will create a new raindrop and add it to this list of raindrop and the time at which I create the raindrop. I add that time to last drop time. So here yeah, time utils dot nano time is the present time in nanoseconds that will be added to this that will be set as last drop time. Next is the method render. Here I clear the screen using this light yellow color. This one is for red, then second one is for green, 0 0.8 for blue, and this one is for alpha. All these can be changed from 0 to 1. Next, I update the camera and its matrices and then I set the projection matrix of the sprite patch according to the camera. So the camera has 360 and 640 width and height. So that will be set according to width and height of the screen and patch will take that 360 and 640 as its projection matrix. So anything drawn which is drawn as three as 180 will be half of the width in this sprite patch. Next we begin the batch and then we draw using this patch by first we draw the score by writing font dot draw batch comma the text score plus the string value of the number score and then its position is set to 10 means on left side of screen and y coordinate 580 means towards top of the screen. Then is the bucket image, we draw the bucket image by writing patch dot draw bucket image at position bucket dot x and bucket dot y. Now bucket dot x is initially set to center of screen and bucket dot y is set to 20. Next we draw the raindrops for each rectangle in the list of rectangle raindrops we draw the drop image at raindrop dot x and raindrop dot y. So if there are three rectangles in the raindrops then it will draw those three raindrops and then this patch will end. After that we process the EZ input. So we get the if the screen is touched if gdx dot input is touched 
then we define the touch position as vector 3 as a new vector 3 and then we get the x coordinate and y coordinate of the position which is touched and then we use camera dot and project touch position and after that we set the x coordinate of bucket bucket dot x is equal to touch position dot x minus 32 by 2 means minus 16 which is half of the width of the bucket. So, that bucket dot x will be 16 less than the touch position x coordinate of touch position means the center of the bucket will be at touch position. So, that is how we set the touch position. Next, we make sure that bucket remains within the screen. So, for that if bucket dot x is less than 0, we set bucket dot x to 0 and if bucket dot x is more than 360 minus 32, then we set bucket dot x to 360 minus 32. Next, if the time you test dot nano time means if the present time minus the last drop time is more than 1 billion nanoseconds means if it is more than 1 second last drop time is the time when last drop was created in spawn drop method. So, if present time minus last drop time is more than 1 second then we spawn raindrop means we create a new raindrop. Next is this iterator for iterator rectangle iter equal to raindrops dot iterator. Now, first we will find the library for this iterator it is java dot util. Now, here is a list of rectangles in this iterator and each iterator will represent that rectangle. So, if iter, iter is a if there is a new rectangle or next rectangle in the iter then that next rectangle will be raindrop and it will be equal to iter dot next and for that raindrop the y coordinate will move according to time. So, here we move the y coordinate raindrop dot y by 200 every second means every second it the y coordinate will decrease by 200 initially it is at 640 then it will reduce by 200 in 1 second means drop will move down by 200 in 1 second. Next is we remove raindrops if they move beneath the bottom of the screen. So, if raindrop dot y plus 32 is less than 0 here I have added 32 because 32 is height of the raindrop. So, if the bottom of the drop plus 32 means top of the drop if the top of the drop is beneath the bottom of screen then I use iter dot remove to remove the raindrop. Next is if raindrop overlaps the bucket means if raindrop hits the bucket then I play the drop sound I increase the score by 1 and I remove the drop by using iter dot remove. So, that is all in render method next is dispose. In dispose method we dispose all the native resources the drop image, the bucket image, drop sound, font and batch we dispose all these things. Next uh, the resize method, pause method and resume methods all these are empty. Now, let us check this ok. So, here is our GDX game which is based on GDX library. I hope this was useful thank you very much for watching this.